back into my channel. Today I'm sharing with you guys some healthy breakfasts that I've been loving. We have some single serve protein pancakes, followed by some like avocado toast, but with some fun new toppings that I like. And then this overnight paleo porridge topped with like this chocolate shell on top. It is so delicious. They're all so good for you, but also taste amazing as well. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump in. So the first thing we're making are these protein pancakes. They are single serve and it was requested for me to get a single serve recipe with protein. So I'm starting off by cracking an egg. I love this because not only does it add extra protein to this recipe, but it helps make them nice and fluffy. So I'm gonna add two eggs along with some protein powder and some baking soda. And then all you have to do is whisk that together until it is nice and smooth. Now, if you want a single serve pancake recipe that doesn't use protein powder, I have a bunch on my channel. So definitely go and watch some of my other healthy breakfast videos. This one is for those of you who are looking for one using a protein powder. You can also probably substitute it with almond flour. That should probably work, um, but I would just follow my other recipes for single serve pancakes. So after you whisk that together, I'm just heating a pan to medium heat to cook my protein pancakes. And if you guys are wondering, I did use a chocolate protein powder to make a chocolate protein pancakes, but you can definitely make vanilla. I like to add blueberries to mine, but you can add something else. And also depending on your protein powder, they will turn out darker depending on how dark they are. I finished it off with some fresh blueberries and you have these wonderfully delicious protein pancakes they can be, you know, topped with nut butter as well for some great healthy fats. But I love that they're low with protein because they keep you full and satisfied and they help with your blood sugar balancing as well so that we're not getting hangry in one hour. The next thing we're making is my new favorite avocado toast combo. I'm probably actually gonna have this for lunch today, so you can have this breakfast or for lunch, but this combo is insanely good. So I'm popping my favorite paleo bread into the toaster to get it nice and warm and toasted. While that's toasting, I'm gonna go ahead and cut an avocado. Avocados are so good for you. They're actually a fruit and they are full of healthy fats, which keep you full. They're great for your hair, your skin, your gut. They are so deliciously creamy as well, so they feel super decadent. I'm gonna cut that up once my toast is done. I'm gonna go ahead and take my avocado that's mashed up, and I'm going to lay that on the top of my bread. I use half an avocado per two slices. We don't, we don't skimp on the avocado over here, okay guys? Um, so I spread that on. And then we're gonna be adding on the rest of our toppings, which is what makes this avocado toast so delicious and better than your average just avocado on toast. So I like to cut up a hard boiled egg. I've been really enjoying this instead of having like a fried egg or one with like a runny yolk. So I'll prep some of these. Eggs are great because they're loaded with protein, but they're also loaded with choline, which is really good for your brain. They're also good for gut health, and like I said, they boost the protein of this breakfast to help keep you fuller longer. I like putting on some slivers of radish. The crunch of the radish with the avocado and the egg, guys, like I'm telling you, it is so good. I recently discovered radishes overall, and they're just fantastic. Um, and then I'm adding on some green onion. This really pulls it together and finishes it off along with some hemp hearts. Again, just a little bit of texture, crunch, omega-3s. I finished it with some flake salt. There you go, all these little things just adds so much texture, flavor, deliciousness. This is truly avocado toast elevated. And then we are making this paleo porridge top chocolate shell. You can do this with chia pudding or paleo porridge, and I'm gonna show you a paleo porridge version today. So I'm using some almond milk, flaxseed, chia seed, hemp hearts, and I am stirring that together until it is nice and combined, and then all you have to do is leave this overnight. Like I said, you could also do this chocolate shell recipe with chia pudding, but I'm adding that into my container so that I can get solid overnight. And then in the morning, you're gonna make your chocolate shell. I'm using a little bit of coconut oil with some raw cacao, and I'm just stirring that together until it is nice and smooth. Then all you have to do is pour it over the top of your either porridge or chia pudding that has already set. Put it in the fridge for five minutes, and then you will have this wonderfully delicious shell on it. It feels like dessert for breakfast. 
I've also experimented since this time by putting a layer of nut butter first and then pouring the chocolate on top. And that to me is like even better. Um, but even just the chocolate shell itself is super delicious and almost feels like you're having an ice cream sundae for breakfast, but we got protein, healthy fats, fiber, a little bit of chocolate for breakfast. I am going to leave my last healthy breakfast video here on the screen so you can watch that next and get lots more healthy breakfast inspiration. If I had to pick a favorite from this video, I am in love with this new avocado toast. I am definitely a savory breakfast or like a savory person in general. So I love this combo, but both of these sweet options are delicious too if you have more of a sweet fix in the morning. So I hope you guys are all having a great day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.